Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Got my Wednesday basket pipe. I really got to come up with a name for this. But it's been my Wednesday basket pipe for a really long time. So, Smoking Haunted Bookshop. Wednesday already. Man, time is flying. You know, I had a monthly meeting occur today with uh it's not my boss it's actually my boss's boss i got a monthly meeting with him and what do they call that skip level meetings that, that's what the, the hr term is for it anyway i I'm, I'm thinking about you know like a half an hour before just thinking what did we talk about last time I'm like didn't we do this last week i know it was a month ago it just time is just zipping by Uh, it's a rainy day here. Kind of dark and dismal rainy day. Not not cold. Not hot. Spring. Yeah, a couple things I wanted to share with you. This you know these Wednesday videos have no point at all. But I thought some of you might be interested in this. I bought this. Well, first off. This box, so I ordered this on the 4th of March, and it was shipped out on the 5th of March, and it arrived today. So it took 19 days for first class mail to get from Shiloh, Illinois. 19 days. Like Pony Express would have been faster. This is what I got. You're probably thinking that wasn't worth waiting 19 days for. Um, and, you know, you're going to laugh at me for, for what this is. So this cost me like nine bucks. And you remember the saga of my calibers uh this is a replacement pair but the pair that i really liked and i still have not adjusted to these the pair i really liked i dropped i knocked it off the bench to be honest and it's because i got this habit of putting it on the bench like that and i don't know if you can see that but it's, it's hanging off the edge and i knock it and it falls off so this will hang on the back and the calibers hook into it and it just will be an easy place to put them so they don't lay them on the bench. And that will hopefully prolong the life of my calipers. Now, I could have made something out of wood. Uh, this was nine bucks. Uh, and, you know, I'm impressed. It's, uh, it came with mounting hardware and washers and everything, which is kind of cool. Uh, guy that makes it. ReloadersNetwork.com, and you know they, they specialize obviously in reloader things. Uh, this is you know reloaders use uh, calipers and this is a place to hang your calipers. So I looked around. You know, I could have made something out of wood and hung it up there. This was just easy, and you know I like the idea that it's it's a little bit thinner than anything that I would have made, and it's sturdy. You know that. 3D printed plastic is fairly tough stuff, and uh, you know I'll just I'll zip it up there with some screws, and I'll have a place to keep my calipers. So I'm happy about that. I'm not happy it took almost 20 days to get here. <laughs> I just uh, I don't understand. You know, the, I don't I don't know what is going wrong with our post office that this is this is happening, and you know we've gotten to the point where we're just accepting these things now. Uh, five years ago, if it took 20 days for something to get from Illinois, we would have, you know, been up in arms about it. But now it's just like, ah, oh, that's the post office. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. We're settling. We're settling for a lot of things. We shouldn't do that. We need to maintain high standards. 
for ourselves and for others. So we should hold the post office to a higher standard. Okay, that's my post office rant. But I do like that little hanger. And then I'm, I'm happy it finally got here. I'll put it up on the little back wall there later this evening. What else is going? I've been I've been working on a bunch of pipes. Uh, got an, an order in from a customer. Seven pipes in total to refurb, and there's been some broken tenons and things like that that I've been working on. I've got a stem right now that needs pretty extensive uh, refinishing, but it also has a big bite hole in the top that I gotta fill. So it's a lot of work, but I'm enjoying it. Seems like there was something else. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. So, guys, clean your pipes. Just, just clean your pipes. <laughs> One of the pipes that I got, and and I'm sure it was a it was an estate sale find. That the guy sent me. I don't think that he. I've worked with this customer before. I don't think that he keeps his pipes this way. So. I'm guessing this was either an estate sale or, you know, he inherited it or something like that. This pipe, you know, it was the typical story you hear about the cake and the bowl was so thick you couldn't get your finger in. And I reamed that out on it. The airway was completely blocked, completely blocked. And it wasn't just blocked with like, you know, some, some tobacco. It was solid plug of tar. I've never had this much trouble getting, just getting a drill bit through the airway. And this is the little reamer that I use. I've been using this for years. I probably made these like five years ago. It broke my reamer. <laughs> now I can fix it, obviously. And uh, I wanted to upgrade the bits anyway. But, jeez, that was, clean your pipes. <laughs> You know, I, I've said this before, most of the pipes that I repair, well, I shouldn't say most of them, but a, a good majority of the pipes I repair with broken tenons are broken because the person, or the shank, broken shanks as well, because the joint between the tenon and the mortise are not kept clean. It'll cause that joint to seize up, and you wind up snapping it, trying to take it apart, or it'll cause the, uh, the shank to blow out usually when you're trying to take it apart of course some of them are because the person drops the pipe which you know, i've done that clean your pipes oh so i'm gonna i'm gonna get done here and i'm gonna get back to doing some of that stem work and Got a little bit of day job to finish up today. Before I call it a day. And, you know, I'd like, I, I fantasize about coming down here tonight after dinner and getting some more work done, but the truth is, lately I have just been beat. I, uh, I've got all these plans, you know, I come down in here in the morning and I say, oh, you know, as soon as I'm done working, I'm going to get this done and that done. And then uh, reality sinks in around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm annoyed because I didn't take a walk today. I've been taking a walk every day at lunchtime, and it's pouring rain. I could have put on a rain jacket and taken an umbrella, but I didn't. So, shame on me. So this Friday, it's going to be the um, Cane Rod Pipes Virtual Pipe Club, which means it's just going to be me and you guys. Um, but I got something special. I'm going to be smoking some of that homegrown Burley from last year. And uh, I know a lot of guys have been asking about that. Uh, give you a little spoiler. It's okay. It's pretty okay. We'll talk more about that on, on Friday. 
and uh, whatever else happens to come along. So I hope you can join me Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'd love to see you there. I got a uh, couple of blog posts in the work. I, I know some of you guys follow my blog, and if you want to follow my blog, you can get to it through canerodpipes.com. Up at the top somewhere, there's a menu that says blog, and you click, and then you can subscribe to get updates and so on. I do not post that regularly. I'm lucky if I get two or three things out in a year, but I got two working right now that I, th I think will be of interest. One is a repair that I just did on a, a calabash that was a bit challenging, and you know, I wanted to document how I did it because it, I, I think it turned out really nicely. And the other thing is I'm, I'm just, and this is just kind of ruminating and uh, swirling around, but I want to talk a bit about tools and how you kind of get used to a tool and then you have to change it and it just doesn't feel right anymore. And mourning the loss of a tool, it's a, it's a difficult thing we face when, uh, when we work with our hands. So those will be coming up in the, in the next month or so, uh, probably the next couple weeks for the calabash restoration. Calabash repair, I should say, and restore it. And that's about it. So uh, join us Friday night, please. I uh, look forward to seeing you there right here on the channel at 8 p.m. Eastern. And I'll get a notification put up later today for that. And beyond that, I hope you all are having a good Wednesday. I hope the first half of your week is off to a fantastic start. And I wish you all the best for the remainder of this week. Y'all take care and we'll talk soon.